Um, welcome back to my channel. It's Nazak Vidoshia back with another video. Today, I am so excited to have my camera back finally. I could not bear that old one. And today's video is going to be about a special stock. Someone, well, some stock that you, that all of you people know, and it's Moderna stock. And I figured I'd do a stock analysis since I haven't done them in a long time, and I actually kind of miss them, believe it or not. So before I begin, I want to say I'm not a financial advisor. You should always do your own due diligence and research before taking part in any investment scheme. Let's get into it. So today is going to be really special since Google has added a feature called quarterly earnings, and then they just give us financials, so this makes my job easier. So I don't have to go and search up financials from some other sketchy website <laughs> because you can't really find them. So Moderna Inc. currently trading at $349.32. It's up 20.82, sorry, not 20.82. That's $20.82. And it's on the NASDAQ index. Ticker symbol, if I didn't mention, MRNA. It's up 6.34% today. And why it's up, we'll discuss that at the, near the end of the video. But what, now what's most important first is as soon as we go to Google, Google Finance, what do we have to do? We have to look at the PE ratio. So the PE ratio is a little under the stock price, which means it's over, it's undervalued. And investors are, it's either undervalued or investors aren't directing the attention. But the stock price is also high, which means investors are willing to put their money in it, but the PE ratio is lower than the stock price. So it means that this stock is undervalued. So let's look a little bit at, at what Moderna does. I'm sure most of you probably know about, about Moderna, what it does. I'll just read the Wikipedia section anyway, because some people are new to stocks. So Moderna Inc. is an American pharmaceutical and biotechnology company based in Cambridge, Massachusetts. It focuses on vaccine technologies based on messenger RNA. Moderna's vaccine platform inserts synthetic nucleoside modified messenger RNA into human cells using a coating of lipid nanoparticles. Ooh, fancy words. Okay. I know, like most of you know vaccine because of Moderna Pfizer vaccine. They got, most of you probably know that, but I just wanted to share with you in case you didn't know. And the 52 week high was $362, which is amazing. The 52 week low is $54. That's kind of shocking. Their market cap is $140.26 billion, which is really, really good. And they're all about like messenger RNA and all that on the and um, mRNA and DNA and stuff like that to treat, cure disease and prevent disease, all about vaccines. So next, let's go look at their financials. This is quarterly financials. I'll be, I'm going to be breaking this up quarterly. And by the way, their, C, their CEO is Stefan Bansell, current CFO, current CFO, not CFO. So the quarter ending March 2021, their revenue was 1.94 billion and it's the the percentage year over year percentage is more than yeah more than 10,000%. I'm just going to round it up. 10,000% which is amazing. And look first let's just address the elephant in the room. All of these are green. Like all of them are green. And that's just really good. It's like a strong recovery from last year, which is what's horrible. I'll show you the last year's like data in a minute. Their net income was 1.22 billion, which is in a 1,084.68% increase year over year. Their diluted EPS, diluted is like earnings per share is 2.84. This is like, that's an increase of 911.43%. Their net profit margin was 63.04%. That's just basically how much how much they make subtracting all the debt and like the liabilities and everything. So that they have that's an increase of 104.07%. Their operating income, which is the income they currently have, 
is 1.27 billion, and that's a 1,056.41 increase. The net change in cash is 2.82 billion, which is 100, which is 1,705.77 percent. The cash on hand is like basically the the assets they have liquidated right here right now. So that's 544 billion. And that's an increase of 1,289.26%. That's like basically the cash they can produce right here, right now, like in case they have a problem. Their cost of revenue is 594.594 million. And that is a 416.52 increase. All of them are increased, which I'm absolutely impressed with Moderna. On December, we can uh, we can see why because December and the 2020 years, especially the December and September, were very challenging for Moderna and um, the economy as a whole. The revenue is still uh, was still up in December. Their net income was down. That's expected because of COVID, and because they weren't they weren't able to formulate the vaccine at that time. The vaccine came this year summer. And diluted EPS is also down. That's expected because you're, the share price will fall if you are having trouble with the economy. The net profit margin, again, that's expected. It's a, ne it's a negative, but it still has an increase right here. And that's still OK, because in September 2020, it was, it was like net. It was like minus still, but that's a good increase. They're, where was I now? Operating income is negative. Again, expected net change in cash. They still, did, they still did a really good job because most of these are still green. Only three of them are not. Their cash on hand are still up. Cost of revenue still up. I'm pretty impressed. The cost of revenue also went down significantly. So that's the, that's the cost, like the machine costs and stuff. Their operating, their operating income still was down here it went up and shot as just saw a tremendous increase on september 2020 it was the same thing for for whatever reason they don't have a diluted eps which confuses me because there should be a diluted eps because the share price will always rise and fall Let's see what's negative. Operating income and net change in cash. Net income was negative. That's expected. Surprisingly, in June 2020, they did really well, except for, again, they don't have a diluted EPF, which, again, confuses me. The revenue in June 2020 was 666.35 ah, million. I don't know why I can't see numbers properly today. The net income was minus, but then it shows an increase of year over year because the yen, like, 2020 let's be honest wasn't the be wasn't the best year so net profit margin was negative like some of these are negative but they didn't see an increase because they're less negative than the previous quarter you get what i'm saying but they still did a fantastic job in recovery and now they're all great and let's see major catalyst why why moderna stock jumped today i said i was going to talk about that so shares of moderna rose on wednesday after fellow drug maker pfizer reported strong sales of its covid 19 vaccine and raised its full year revenue forecast why do i feel like i'm running my mouth too much am i <laughs> as of 3 30 p.m etd the biotechnology company stock price was up more than six percent so what Pfizer generated 7.8 billion in coronavirus-related revenue in the second quarter. The healthcare giant right now expects to deliver 2.1 billion doses, and it earned 33.5 billion in COVID-19 vaccine revenue in 2021, up from its prior estimate of 26 billion. So, basically, what this means is that these these um, vaccine companies, the ones that produce COVID uh, COVID vaccines, will follow the trend of each other because the demand is the same. Pfizer's strong sale performance and financial outlook bode well for Moderna. Demand for safe and effective COVID-19 vaccines is rising as new coronavirus strains emerge and case counts mount around the world. What they mean is that in the rising US, UK 
the rising um, UK COVID cases and European COVID cases, as well as our own COVID cases that we are having rising. If I just pull it up, if I put US COVID cases, in a second, this should load. It's about 108,000. I checked it this morning. I always check the cases for whatever reason. 108,775. A while back, it was 3,000. 3,500,000 3, just this month. And this is like mind blowing for me. I've never seen something grow, like cases grow this fast. Okay, so Moderna's vaccine rivals that of Pfizer in both safety and efficacy, which means it's likely to also benefit from the same factors that are driving its competitor sales and profits sharply higher. Investors can expect to receive updated revenue and earnings projections from Moderna when it reports its second quarter financial results on August 5th. That's not that far away, is not is it? Today is the 28th. To a, okay, there's like two more days, three more days, three more days till the month ends. And then August 5th, that's like eight more days. It's not bad. So Moderna has seen a stock rally by 35% over the last month and remains up by most, almost 11% over the last five trading days alone as the good news keeps coming on for the COVID-19 vaccine major. This is another catalyst for growth. Last week, the company said that the U.S. government was buying another 200 million doses of its COVID-19 shot, which will likely be used to vaccinate children, excuse me here, or be used as, bo as booster shots. This is in addition to existing orders of 300 million doses that the company will likely supply by the end of July. The new deal could be valued on an upward of $3 billion, assuming a price of $16.50 per dose, which is the price the US paid for the original vaccine. So in conclusion, Moderna is doing a fantastic job at recovering from the economy of 2020, and it's now growing like crazy. It's growing like fungus. And I feel that it has like many, many good catalysts for growth in 20, the year of 2021. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, found this information helpful. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you made it till the end of this video, if you're one of those lovely, beautiful people, thank you there. Please be sure to comment powder puff below. And that's also your key to subscribe. See you in the next video. Love you guys, bye.